Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back again to another session of one question a day. The question that we are going to discuss is the cells of the periodontal ligament. Very important exam oriented question. So the cells could be divided into synthetic cells or that one produces matrix, resorbative cells or one that could resorb the contents, progenitor cells, defense cells, then some cell rests of malaises. These are the cells. So let us go into each. We have osteoblast that synthesize bone, fibroblast that, collag uh, that secretes collagen fibers, cementoblast that secretes cementum. Remember, there is always a need for osteoblast because bone undergoes constant bone remodeling. Fibroblast produces the fibers, namely the collagen fibers. So you need to discuss about this osteoblast where they are secreted, fibroblast where it will be adding up to your answers if you are able to just elaborate a couple of two or three lines for things. Osteoblasts are large single nucleated cells present along the surface of the bone. They are involved in active synthesis. Fibroblast, they are spindle shaped cells situated in the matrix with a less prominent nucleus. Cementoblast line the layers of the cementum and not often seen resorptive cells. They are the osteoclasts or multinucleated giant cells situated in the horseship's lacunae responsible for the resorption of bone. Cementoclast, very rarely seen. They are resorptive cells of the cementum. If present, they are indicative of the pathological nature. Fibroblast, again, produce uh, collagen and are responsible for resorption of collagens. They lie, have, have a vacuole adjacent to the membrane called uh, membrane and digest intracellular the collagen and helps in resorption. So they are both secretory and resorptive cells. Progenitor cells of blood vessels like pericytes and which have the capacity to undergo the division and gives rise to new blood vessels and sometimes some cell cells. Some different cells like mast cells, macrophages, lymphocytes, eosinophils, depending upon the amount of inflammatory challenge. The cell rest could be cell rest of malaises here. They are the remnant of the Hertwig's epithelial root sheath. And during the formation of cementum, HERs break. While some of proceeds to give rise to progenitors for cementoblast, some persist in PDL as cell rest of malaises, usually seen in the young children. They can give rise to cyst tumors or sometimes associated with denticles. Clinical significance, acute trauma to PDL can cause hemorrhage and necrosis. Healing may be stimulated by these synthetic and resorptive cells. The progenitor cells can function to supplement and nourish this area. In scleroderma, PDL is uniformly widened at the expense of surrounding bone. Chronic periodontal disease causes the fibro, fiber group to become disorganized with loss of attachment due to resorption of bone. So these are the parts of these cells. So you can elaborate to two pages by explaining all these factors. So stay connected, keep learning more.